What's going on? We are here. We are in Koh Samui, Thailand. Just want to record a kind of update video, kind of talking about my experience as being here and my honest thoughts and being transparent, kind of changing my environment and coming to a different place to be able to kind of do learn more about myself, but also be able to kind of step out and become the person I, I really want to be. And I kind of want to talk about like the transparency and the, the reality of actually going into a different environment to kind of change who you are and, and change everything about yourself. Um, cause a lot of self-improvement guys and business guys out there say change your environment, but I feel like they're missing out a, a couple of elements out there that I've experienced myself and a couple of other guys that I've seen out here with kind of a trend and what to expect and what kind of expectations you should be setting for yourself before making a big move, like going to a different country or meeting up with a bunch of other people to kind of lock in and work on your business. And to be frank, um, I came here with the plan of going out here, meeting up with a couple of guys I met online in the um, marketing agency space. Uh, we all met through a mentorship and we decided to all come out here, kind of change our paradigms, beliefs, and essentially grow our businesses together. But the truth is, uh, so I came here about 14 days ago, about two weeks ago. I think I came here on the the second or third of September. Now it is the 19th. And there's a lot that I've learned being out here, being in a completely different environment, changing where I am as opposed to where I used to be, kind of opening my eyes up to what's actually possible in the realms of business. And I feel like one of the biggest things, especially if you're, if you're wanting, if you're an entrepreneur, maybe you're around from like five to 10 K per month, then you decide to go out to a place like, I don't know, like Koh Samui, Thailand, or like maybe a third world country that everything is super cheap and easy accessible. And the thing about me is the place I came from, there was nothing there for me besides family and the people I know and loved and trusted. But there's a lot that goes on in being in an environment where you have to make it work. And coming out here, it's a complete belief and paradigm shift. Right now, I'm staying in a three-story uh, condo with a couple of my friends here that we've met out here as well. And we even have a, a damn elevator. So it's been a complete life upgrade from where I just came from. And all the steps that I've taken in my business journey to get to where I am now, it's, it's honestly mind-boggling. There's moments in time where I should be more grateful for where I came from to where I am now. And that kind of brings us to the point of like, why did I come out here in the first place? I came out here to Koh Samui, Thailand to pretty much meet up with the guys, uh, work on mindset, business and everything together and really just put our head down and focus. But if you guys have been to Thailand before, there are plenty and plenty of distractions going on and I'd be lying to you and I wouldn't be transparent if I, if I didn't tell you that I have been a victim to these distractions as well. There's a lot to do out here. It's not a boring place to be and it's a complete shift from where I came from. I came from Portland, Oregon, where there's absolutely crazy it's just running around, people that don't even know what's going on down there, homeless people taking a crap on the streets. From going from that to a place where you can pretty much buy whatever you want, you can live a life full of freedom, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. There's a lot of temptations and distractions to, to go around when you, you change your environment to a different place. And um, I wanted to record this video to kind of talk about that and really kind of dive deep into what should you expect moving out and changing your environment to a place like this? And there are a lot of distractions, there's a lot of things to do, you can never be bored. And that's kind of a, at the same time, it's, it's, a, it's a thing that opens up your beliefs to there's so much more in this world that could be achieved. And the other side of that, the caveat is like, if you're in a place like this, you feel like you're already on top of the world, you're living like a king, you're, you're making um, 10 times more than what the locals are making here. You're treated like a king. Everywhere you're treated with respect and you feel like you're on top of the world. And there's a plus and the minus to that. The plus side is you get to live your, your life, your way of life changes, everything completely changes and you live a really good life. The minus side to that, there's plenty of distractions out here. Things that could sway you away from why you came out here in the first place. And that's one lesson that I've learned from being here so far is that if you come out to these places, you have to have an intention in mind, whether that's to come out here to strictly put your head down and focus, work on your business, change who you are, or just come out here to have a good time and have a vacation. 
And now for the first two weeks that I've came out here, I've treated this like a vacation. Obviously, I had work to do. I been working on my clients but I haven't been doing any kind of outreach I haven't been closing any clients and it's entirely my fault that I haven't been doing that and I can't blame anything else but myself and the distractions that I allow myself to go and get into now do I regret any of it absolutely not if I turn back around turn back in time I would choose and decide to knowing what this place is now to set aside some time for me to just kind of enjoy myself. Because I do believe that there's two paths to entrepreneurship. One of them being is you put your head down, locked in a room, and for for whatever drives you to do that, sure, you can go ahead and do that. But the other path I believe, at least for myself, and I think that a lot of people should do, is you should be able to upgrade multiple pillars in your life. You see, a lot of people, and you hear a lot about billionaires, millionaires out there that are making a shit ton of money, but they're not actually happy. They're just closeted people that are really good at business. Don't get me wrong. They have a ton of money, a ton of success, but is that truly success if you're not actually happy with who you are? And that's why it, being out here kind of changed my mind to a lot of things. For one, one mistake is like, make sure you have an intent when you are out here. Another thing is like, you, it's better to upgrade your life in all of the pillars than to go all in on one. Because let's I'd rather be, at least for me, I'd rather be a Uh, a seven and four different pillars rather than a 10 and one and a one and three. And I want to say that because having balance in your life is important. I'm not saying like, um, just take a break from business, put things aside and not really focus on what matters. What I'm saying is there's a time and place for everything. There's a time and place where you can work on your social skills. There's a time and place where you can work on who you are, uh, what you do, your skills. And there's a time and place for business. And what's really important. The thing that I've learned here is you need to Put aside what you need to work on first and the things that are more important to you and what you should spread out according to you know, your, your vision, your goal. And being out here has taught me that there's a lot of things that I'm not really completely honest and truthful to myself. There's a lot of excuses being made. Um, I believe that now being out here and kind of learning, it's better to just be completely honest with yourself rather than living in a lie just to make yourself feel better. And a prime example of that is me coming out here and making excuses on why I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing in terms of going out outreaching, getting clients, um, going out, and then I'm kind of avoiding the thought or question in my mind that I need to be putting the work in to actually reach my goals. Now, aside from that point, making money is super, super easy. Like, especially in the beginning. Now, this is one caveat. In the beginning of your business journey, if you're you're wanting to get into entrepreneurship and for most of you, your your goal is going to be location, time, and financial freedom. It is important in the beginning to put your head down for a certain period of time, kind of lock yourself away for maybe six months, kind of step away from the toxic people in your life or the people that kind kind of have held you back to your main identity. Now, in terms of this and starting out, going to a different environment is definitely super important so that you can become that next level of a person that you want to be. And at least for me, I've been in this entrepreneurship journey now for almost two and a half years. And there's a lot of things that I've learned. There's a lot of things that I've missed out on. And since I am young, I'm not in a huge rush. Now, it just depends on from person to person. I personally want to go into business to become a better person, kind of experience more of the world and become who I really want to be. Obviously, I like the aspect of business and I love helping people, but at the end of the day, everything you do ties back into who you want to be, what your identity is and what you want to achieve for yourself. And those are kind of like the main points that I've, I've wanted to touch on here in this video, kind of walk you guys through my thought processes and a quick update on where I am right now. But we are staying at, I mean, Everything that's happened so far has happened for a reason. And I am super grateful for all the people that have been around me in this journey to where now I'm just staying here in in a random island in a a three-story condo with guys that are absolutely amazing. And I wouldn't trade anything else for this experience. It's just these are the things that I've learned I want to pass on to you guys. And, you know, it's, uh, it's good to be transparent. It's good to tell people what you're actually doing the raw reality of being an entrepreneur and some people have different reasons than others right 
I'm not, I, I don't have a crazy sob story where my whole family dies and I had to figure it out or else I'd be dead as well. It's, to be honest with you, I just came from a small town, Tigard, Oregon, uh, grew up, had a good childhood, uh, had great people around me, learned a lot of things from my childhood. And I grew up with just tons and tons of ambitions, failures, and I just wanted to kind of start something and finish something that I started. And I feel like a lot of people that in the demographic of entrepreneurship, um, it's mainly targeted towards people that have, you know, rough upbringings. And I believe that there's a demographic of people where you began with comfort and your biggest battle is comfort and the battle with yourself. And that's one of the things that I want to be able to overcome here and kind of pass it on to anyone else that wants to do bigger things in their life, but they're in a place where they're comfortable now, but they're not wanting to be there. If that makes sense, you guys let me know if that makes sense at all. But as for now, uh, right now I'm waiting on just another retainer from another client in the old agency I ran. And then I'm going to officially start the, the zero to uh, 30K a month journey here in Thailand. I know I was supposed to start it as soon as I got here, but like I said, there were a little bit, of, there's a couple of distractions that happened along the way. I won't lie. I will admit it. Uh, but after this week, I'm going to start posting more of the actual journey and the business side of things that are kind of going on right now, where we're at and the steps we're going to take to actually take this business to the next level. But stay tuned. There's also going to be tons of uh, lifestyle content and, and entertaining stuff coming out for you guys soon. Just kind of documenting what it's been like here so far, being out here in Koh Samui, living this lifestyle as a digital nomad. It is fun. It is great to be out here. There's tons of freedom coming from a place uh, in America that is not the greatest. And I'm not saying that in terms of like there's, there's shootings or like crime and stuff. But uh, if you know Portland, Oregon, like, it's not the place to be. It's like the most depressing place on the planet. Like everyone there is an absolute downer. And that's kind of another thing of why I kind of left in the first place was like to be around more high energy people. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for this video and this update for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys found value in this, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm super excited to push out some more content coming out to you guys, um, showing you around the villa, showing you around the island and just lifestyle and experiences that we've had down here so far but i hope you guys enjoyed peace out